Hey, how's it going? This is Henry Fletcher here responding to your request for a quick video on tips you can use to grow your business online. Right now I'm on your website, littlemanconcrete.com. I like how clean your website is. You mentioned all your services, you've got your hours listed. Yep, you mentioned that you're a con contractor. You have a look, you have some descriptions there as well, too. And one thing, too, I would recommend. It's always best to have the clickable phone number on the top left because the user's eyes always start there. The first thing they see is that clickable phone number. They know to call you. And I think and this contact form should be moved to the right-hand side of the page. That way then, too, um, when the user's eyes move to that right-hand side, they see that. And that's another way that in which they can get in touch with you. And right above that contact form, you want it to say something like get a free quote, get a free estimate. That will give them more incentives to fill out that contact form. I'm going to show you what happens when you search for a concrete contractor in Troy, Missouri, where you are. So first thing here we see is the map portion of Google. And the top three people here got the most traffic. So we got Henry Concrete Contractor, Orth Concrete Construction, and Champion Ready Mix LLC. Right now this is a wide open opportunity for you to rank here because none of these guys have websites. And then once we move past the map portion and get into the organic section, this is definitely where you want to have space, you want to own it. It looks like g-pconcrete.com is the first local website. We're going to take a look into their site in a little bit. Going down here, sometimes people actually advertise on page one. They pay for that space, so it doesn't look like they are. Nobody's renting on this keyword, but it's always better to own than rent. Let me show you some stats. Google search traffic on page page one gets 91.5% of that traffic. When, when you leave page one and go to page and up, the traffic is way significantly less than it was on page one. So if you're nowhere to be found on page one, it'll be much harder for people to find you on the search engine. If 47% of the time people conduct a Google search, it's for a local business service. So there is missed opportunity there. But even when you're on page one, the position you have is still really important. Not all the traffic on page one is created equal. As you see here, like the first spot gets 32.5% of that traffic, the second spot gets 17.6%, then the third spot gets 11.4%. You see that very last spot, the 10th spot, only gets 2.4% of that traffic. So it's key to have one of those top three organic listings. And then if you have a top three map listing to go along with it, you're going to be getting a lot of traffic coming your way. The more website visitors you get coming your way, they will lead to more phone calls, and in turn, more phone calls will lead to more customers with those extra with that extra revenue from the extra customers, you can use that to grow your business even further. So let's take a look at Flat Work Concrete. This is the first ranked local website. See here, they have a clean website. So it looks like, yeah, they mentioned they do curb basements, driveways, schedule free estimate. It looks like they got a lot of content on here. So some things that Google looks for when ranking a local business website is authoritative content. So you want to have between 1,000 to 1,500 words all about the services you provide. And then for each service page, you want to have between 500 to 750 words of authoritative content. You can even go past the 750 word range too. There's no, there's no such thing as too much. I want to take a look at one of your service pages, Concrete Repair. So yeah, it's good how you got words on here too. But yeah, as I mentioned too, the more words, the better. That'll, def that'll help in the rankings. And another thing too, when you go into Google and you type in site colon, you put in littlemanconcrete.com, it says here you got seven pages on the search engine. So Google favors those websites with more web pages. So there's some ways you can add more, some ways you can add more pages. You can make a service page, you can have more service pages, so like residential, commercial services. You can even do like stamped concrete as well as another one, maybe patios like driveways if you work with that steps steps walkways and you can also make blog articles too describing all your giving your all your thoughts and opinions on everything related to concrete so um google likes like people with a lot of valuable information so if you think about it, if you type in a celebrity's name on a google search one of the first pages that pops up is their Wikipedia page. Wikipedia is at the top because they have so much information on the celebrity, whether it's their career, personal life, and all the details involving all of that. So if you like, 
so that's where the blog would help. And then you can make pages about each location you serve too. So not just Troy, but there's also maybe Fountain and Lakes, maybe New Truxton, Truxton, Olney, Gamma, Foley, yeah, Winfield, Eight Packs, New Truxton, yeah, Montgomery City. Maybe you go all the way into St. Louis, O'Fallon, St. Peter's. There's a lot you could do there. And while having like lots of great authoritative content is very necessary, it's just one piece of the puzzle. You also need a thing called backlinks to write. So what a backlink is, is when you put your website link onto another website. And all backlinks are created equal, some are more powerful than others. Ranking a website to the top of Google is just like a kid who's trying to get popular at a school. No matter like how good your website is or how great the content is, it's still not enough to get popular. Even with, with the kid with their great personality and great looks, like they still got to show people off and say, hey, I'm, I'm good. Do you, get, do you give me your vote of confidence? You still have to win the appeal of everybody. So let's just say, for example, you put your website link onto a site called con ConcreteResources.com. We'll say there's the top site on Concrete. And they give you a follow. Google would see them and be like, oh, Concrete Resources likes LittleManConcrete.com. We're going to move them up the rankings. Then you want to find more and more of those popular sites to link up to. But if you put your website link on a new site called um, Joe'sConcrete.com and they give you a follow, Google would see them and be like, oh, a new kid vouching for this guy? His opinion doesn't mean anything. We're going to keep him ranked where he is. And this is a tool I like to use. It's called Uber Suggests. And here's an overview of your website. Right now it says you're not appearing on any organic keywords. And right now it says you don't have any backlinks. So there's definitely, like, as I mentioned too, like having that authoritative content will help you rank for some keywords. So let's take a look at Flatwork, see where the keywords they rank for, where they stand. See, they appear on 128 organic keyword searches, and they have 173 backlinks. One trick you can do, you can see who your competitors are linking to, try to link up to the same sites. Like GMP Concrete search 40 times a month, what you can do is you can run a Google ad for that keyword and try to take some of their traffic. Maybe like Horse Street Driveway could be one too, if you work with driveways 590 times that search a month. Let's see, Flatwork Concrete, St. Louis Concrete Companies, like if you serve St. Louis, that could be a good one, search 110 times a month. And as I mentioned too, the ways to get up in the rank for a lot of keywords is to have all that, that authoritative content as well as little valuable backlinks. Let's take a look at some of their backlinks. All right, here we go. So you definitely want to be on yellow pages. It looks like foul pack you can link up there too. Definitely want to have one on your local chamber of commerce as well. That would be a valuable backlink. Let's see other ones tier two. Even a lot of like construction and like ones on um, Missouri or Troy, Missouri, for example, would be great uh, websites to be linked up to. And another thing, too, to rank in the map portion of Google, you need a thing called citations. So a citation is the number of times that your business name, phone number, and address are listed across the web. Right now, I'm not seeing the address on the website, but if you were to put an address on your website, that would actually be a citation. And you want to have between 50 to 100 plus more citations in your competition. But sometimes having way more citations in your competition won't always get you ahead in the map rankings. But what will help is if you keep adding lots of authoritative content to your website, as well as finding a lot of valuable backlinks. If you have that high-powered website to go along with way more citations than everybody else, then you'll be ranking way ahead of everybody in the maps. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.